From the News Channel 5 Network, I'm Emily Luxon with your news update. Across the mid-state, thousands of volunteers rolled up their sleeves and got to work helping people impacted by this week's deadly tornadoes. So many people showed up to volunteer with Hands on Nashville and Donaldson that hundreds of people were turned away. Some volunteers were getting a glimpse of the damage for the first time. Hands on Nashville has canceled the cleanup Sunday in Donaldson so that NES can come in and do the work that they need to get done. For more information on where you can help clean up, we have a link to their website on newschannel5.com. An East Tennessee community continues to mourn Evelyn Boswell. The TBI and Sullivan County Sheriff's officials said Friday night that authorities discovered remains believed to belong to the 15 month old on a property in Bluntville belonging to a family member of Boswell's mother. This comes after a two and a half week search for the child. The remains will be sent for an autopsy and a positive identification. The investigation is ongoing and no charges have been filed. Don't forget to set your clock ahead one hour before you go to bed tonight. Daylight saving time officially begins at 2 a.m. It's also a good time to change the batteries in your smoke alarms and carbon monoxide detectors. And here's meteorologist Henry Rothenberg with a look at your forecast. Yeah, can't say it enough. Got a spring ahead tonight as 2 a.m. will become, of course, 3 a.m. this morning. Otherwise, you're going to be late going everywhere in the morning. Hey, you've got temperatures overnight that are in the 30s for many locations. Clear sky out there, but tomorrow we'll, with the southerly wind, get into the uh, upper 50s and low 60s for many locations and quiet weather expected. Seven day forecast drive for your Sunday, but rain chances back Monday, a pretty unsettled pattern for much of the week.